With lots of losses to review, let's start off with the crisp and light. These are 20 calories a slice, and although they are my favorite, that's not the reason why. It's not the only reason why. I really enjoy the flavor. It's almost like a cereal cornflake Cheerio mix. It really is just a delicious rice cake texture. The snack itself is very airy. I don't feel like it pairs very well with cheese. I ate it by itself with noodles with cheese on top. Loved it, definitely my favorite. These wassas are just so good straight out the box. Our light rye crisp bread comes up next. It also is 20 calories per slice, but with these crackers, especially compared to the crisp and lights and even just to the other crackers, are very thin. I didn't really like that style just because they felt very crumbly, as you can see by the crumbs, although that could have just been user error on my part. And I didn't feel like there was a lot of flavor there, but I will admit what you put on the cracker can really make or break the cracker. I did laughing cow cheese for the first time with these crackers and it was amazing. So your pairing is what really makes the cracker. The whole grain wasas was a whole ordeal. Let me just start by saying that it's a good cracker. It's thick, like I like it. I almost faced a tragedy. I'm eating it still. Good flavor, good everything for 30 calories. Wasa's sourdough crisp bread was up next and it was 30 calories per slice. It was a thicker cracker. I was expecting a very sourdoughy taste because if you guys have had sourdough or even made Greek yogurt protein bagels before, you know there's usually a taste of a little sourness, a little something that makes it sourdough. This did not have that. It was just kind of a plain cracker. That's why I was disappointed. <laughs> And we finally reached the original multi-grain Swedish style crisp bread, what introduced me to the world of Wasa, this 35 calorie cracker. It pairs excellently with cheese. This is a cracker that just, it has, maybe it's that multi-grain taste that I really enjoy, but it had a nice deep flavor. Again, pairs really well with cheese, mozzarella specifically, but I'm sure if I had Laughing Cow at this point, I would have put it on. I encourage you all to try Wasa, and let's get into the most important part, the actual rating of all the Wasas that I have tried. Number one is the Wasa Crisp and Light. This is one of the Wasas with the least amount of calories, and this is one of the thickest of them all. Number two is the original multi-grain Wasa. I love the taste of multi-grain breads and crackers, so that's just my personal number two. You can easily pair it with something salty, something sweet, something cheesy, something not cheesy. And in third place, we have a tie. Sesame flatbreads along with the rosemary flatbreads. Who would have guessed? Me, I would have guessed. I've made previous videos on these flatbreads before. What I really loved about them is that they have an additional flavor aside from just like bread that go amazing with cheese, of course. What would I do without cheese? 